Hello world! I'm Mr. Peter Wiggins from Salvador, Brazil. I'm a Google Certified Trainer. I'm a G Suite Administrator and I've also helped my school become a Google Reference School. And today I'm going to answer what should I do at the start of the year? And well, it's all about planning and preparing using Google Classroom. The beginning of a school year is a crucial moment for teachers and it can be very, very stressful. This is why previous content preparation will help you reduce the amount of work throughout the year, allowing teachers to focus on what's most important, their students. Archiving old classes, copying classes from previous years and adding students to a specific class will be covered here to help you get organized in Google Classroom. Just like many teachers prepare the physical environment before the start of a school year, the digital environment can be prepared as well. Archiving old classes is a perfect way to start cleaning house. Instead of deleting a class at the end of the year, you can archive it and it will prevent you from losing important data with two clicks. It will also allow you and your students to access old files since they will all remain in Google Drive. Now they're not here anymore, but if I go to the main button and find archived classes, I can see my old classes here. When the class is archived, you can still view the content and information and you can reuse the assignments. Which brings me to the second tip. Imagine you're going to teach the same subject this school year but to different students. Last year you had a class with similar assignments, similar structures, so why not to use this information in a brand new class? To do so and save a lot of time, simply click here and copy the class. Give it a name and hit copy. Now let's go back to the main dashboard and I can see my class being created. Now let's check our brand new class. You will note that the students have not been added to the new class. And the assignments are all here and they are now drafts. Therefore, you can choose which ones to publish and when to publish them. Now that you have your new environment set up with your welcome message, your units and your topics, it's now time to add the students to the class. There are three different ways to do so, let me show you. The first is displaying the class code. If you click here, the students can go to the main page of Classroom, click join class and type this code. The second way is copying the invitation link and sending to their emails. And the third way is navigating to the People tab, click Invite Students button and you can type their student's name here or you can add by groups to save you a lot of time. Look, more than one student will be added now because I choose the group option. Now you know what to do to start off the year on the right foot. Simply archiving old classes in a safe and separated space. You learn how to save time copying classes and different ways to add students into your classes. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon.